Gender-based and sexual violence is a problem that is increasing in some of the remote places in the Morobe province. A recent visit to Mayama, a remote place in the Morobe province by Yana Advocacy, headed by Jacinta Teterets, revealed the extent of the problem. Due to the breakdown in law and order, offenders aren't being punished. It needs to be government needle enforcing law and order at bottom uh, community level. The story revealed by Ms. Teterets in this interview only gave a tiny snapshot of offenses committed in remote areas that are being largely ignored. I want to know more about what is something by law you make him, law perpetrators, what is something by government you make him long all victims. There's a lot of victims in there. Victims and rice perpetrators, yeah. Number blowly winning number all victims and we know you see. And that is being fueled by poor awareness on the issue and the absence of law and order mechanisms in these places. Statistics are yet to be gathered, but she believes the problem is just the same all over remote places in Papua New Guinea. Many of the victims are abused by their own relatives or by people they know. While many in urban areas may see this as a serious offense, those in remote areas see this as normal. People start playing, people relax. Yeah, happy man. This is big time through. Yeah, we can we can the law some law enforcer. They don't have the power to enforce the law. Many in rural areas, however, sometimes chose to solve the crime out of the formal court system, and to a large extent makes PNG's criminal laws ineffective. And it has been a problem that responsible authorities and non-government organizations haven't adequately contained yet. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Lay.